Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make unpon, which is a bun filled with red bean paste. So to start out, we're going to take one and three fourths cup of bread flour. So we have one cup and then your three fourths. Okay, and now you're going to want a little bit less than one fourth cup of cake flour. So probably about like that, maybe a little less. Next, you're going to want one teaspoon of salt. And now you're going to add in your wet ingredients. So we have one fourth cup of water and a teaspoon of yeast. You're going to want to let it bloom. And then I have one egg beaten. And then we have two tablespoons of butter. And now we're going to need, let's see, one third cup of milk. and one fourth cup of sugar. All right, the dough is all mixed. Here's what it looks like. It's kind of sticky, but not overly sticky. So now you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for one hour. All right, the dough has sat for one hour. It needed a little bit of extra flour, so I just added some in and now I'm gonna knead it until it's well combined. All right, now you're just gonna wanna cut it into eight pieces. I'm using a pastry scraper. And if it's not perfectly in half, that's fine. All right, so I have my dough rolled out into eight balls. And so now you're gonna make your circles. You're just gonna press them flat all right, so now that I have the dough in roughly a circle, and now that it's nice and thin, you're going to put in your bean paste. I made my own, but you can also buy some pre-made if you'd rather do that. And you're going to want to put a pretty good amount. It's going to look like a lot, but by the time it bakes and gets really fluffy, um, it's going to look like the perfect amount. So you're just going to stretch it over top of your bean paste. And then once you get it stretched over completely, you're just going to pinch it closed. All right, I now have them on a parchment paper lined sheet. And I have one egg beaten and two tablespoons of water and my little silicone brush. So you're just going to take a little bit on your brush and brush it over top of all of them. You don't want to absolutely drench them in egg, but you do want them to have enough to make it brown. All right, so now I'm gonna add my black sesame seeds on top. They have a specific tool you can use. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna use my fingers to put them roughly in the shape of a circle. But it'll work just as well. All right, once you have your egg and sesame seeds on, you're gonna wanna cover them with a towel. And then you're gonna wanna let them sit and rise for half an hour and then put them in the oven at 400 degrees and start the timer at 13 minutes, but just let it go until they have a slight brown on top. All right, our buns are all done. Mine took 18 minutes, but the cooking time will depend on how big you make your buns and how thick they are. So here's what one looks like, cut open with the red bean paste. And that's why you put a lot whenever you're making them so that it's not all bun and you have enough paste.